Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm his daughter, Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. For today's adventure, we're going to go to one of our favorite beaches on the island. Yes, yeah, San Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? I think so. All right, let's go. Let's get going. All right. All right, here we go. So now we're on the road and you can see Mount Etna in the distance. It's a little blurry because it's so hot and hazy today, but that's Etna. I absolutely love this property. It's actually an orange grove and I love how they just line it up perfectly. It's just so beautiful. They planted this probably about six years ago or so when we got here. So as we continue our journey to San Lorenzo, I'll continue to show you some of the beautiful landscape along the way. So here in Sicily, we don't go over the mountains or hills, we go through them. So this is our first tunnel to get over or around or through this mountain. So they started building this telepass in 2011 when we first started visiting Sicily. And on Google Maps, it actually comes off uh, across as a toll road. But believe it or not, as you can see, they still have not put in the toll completely. That's right. So here you can see there's more vineyards and orange groves down to the right over here. Just beautiful landscape on the middle of the island. Yep, and this is what you ha have at the intersections here. Yeah, you have to be a really fast reader in order to figure out where you're going. And yes, believe it or not, folks, this is a two-way street. Mm-hmm. And these are not decorative cell phone towers, nor are they trees from Ikea. These are actually just a typical Sicilian tree. Yay, we finally arrived at San Lorenzo. Here are some of the gorgeous grounds as you enter the beach area, the Lido area. Okay, so we finally arrived uh, to San Lorenzo Beach and to uh, the area that we, the Lido that we like to enjoy. And it's about an hour and a half drive here, which true. wasn't too bad. Traffic was pretty good today, surprisingly. Exactly. Yeah. And what was, how did they greet us, Victoria? Well, the nice thing is here they greet you with a welcome, complimentary cocktail. I mean, what's yes. better than that? Yes. <laughs> and as you can see uh, behind us, the beautiful ocean that we're going to enjoy. Yes. And we're going to take some pictures and maybe some quick videos of this uh, resort area uh, before it gets too busy with people so you can enjoy, see what we are able to enjoy and experience today in Sicily. Yeah, we were able to get one of these sections that actually has beds, which is really nice. They're basically like little massage tables that you get to lay on, which is quite relaxing and yes. a little hot. And this is not something that you do all summer long or every day at the beach. This is a little bit of a treat, but we thought we'd share it with you today. Absolutely. All right, so we'll enjoy it. We'll keep you posted. We'll try. <laughs> okay. All right. So here you can see where we started our trip from Catania and we went all the way down to Noto. Uh, you can see how much area we're able to cover in Sicily in just about an hour and a half. Another reason why we chose this beautiful beach resort is because we knew that they still did social distancing, as well as we knew it wouldn't be very crowded because we went during the week and we were right. Look at this, it's beautiful. We practically had the beach to ourselves, which was wonderful.
And believe it or not, we went the week before the height of beach season here in Sicily. So like I said, you can see it's not crowded at all. The week after we went here, the prices went up and I'm sure it was packed. I love this beach because it has white powdery sand. It honestly reminds me of the Caribbean. There's such a variety of different beaches here on the island, which we'll take you along and show you as well. Some are rocky, um, have little pebbles, some have cliffs. Um, there's just such a variety. It's really beautiful. What's interesting about Sicily is that instead of seaweed, we get these little grass balls that uh, end up on the beach. They're so cool. You can actually uh, take them, dry them, and use them decoratively within the house. So we just ordered some cocktails. This just came within two seconds. It's wonderful. You actually just use a little app and order it, and it's here in these cute little mason jars almost. This is tastes almost like a combination of a gin and tonic and a mojito. It's a caipirinha and it's really really good. And along with that comes a little aperitivos which are a little snack mix. Oops let's see if we can see with peanuts and crackers and then a nice little thing of homemade potato chips which very good as well. So round one here we go. All right, so we just ordered lunch and uh, Victoria ordered some Mr. Fish platter, right? Yes, I did. And I ordered uh, some fish and chips, which absolutely Let me see looks if I can. delicious. Yeah. Isn't that look yummy? And what's in the Mr. Fish? Uh, well, you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> this shrimp. Calamari. This calamari. There is some chips. Well, uh, french fries. No, it's, it's chips. And what is the... They're like little smelt. A ah, little smelt, there you go. Yeah, okay, but there are good. actual chips as opposed to french fries. That's true, that is yeah. very true. All right, so we're going to enjoy these right now and we will let you know how they were here. All right, All right. let's dig in. Okay. So we had a wonderful time here at the beach in San Lorenzo and our lunch was fantastic. Yeah, wonderful food, good cocktails, beautiful day, water was warm, sunny. It doesn't get any better than this. No, it doesn't. No. We look forward to coming back soon, hopefully. Most definitely, most definitely. So until then, 
We're gonna say goodbye for now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. 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 I go swimming, Victoria. <laughs> you want to go swimming? I want to go swimming again. Okay. Well, we'll come back and then you can go swimming. Okay. All right.